In this video, I'll be showing you some really cool ways to integrate TextBlaze with DataBlaze. This is a table with fictional customer data. Here, I can see that there's a TextBlaze snippet linked to this table. Let's have a look at it. This is the command that allows my snippet to retrieve information from my DataBlaze table. Let's look at a simple example. If I click on the command, I can see all of the available options and use the graphical interface to make changes as needed. Behind the scenes, these instructions are transformed into a programming language called BSQL, which stands for Blaze Structured Query Language, or in short, BSQL. Here's what that looks like. Notice that the language is very similar to how human beings speak. There are verbs, nouns, and other elements that are found in human language, which makes it fairly easy to pick up. Editing my command directly in BSQL gives me access to additional functionality beyond what the graphical interface offers. For instance, the current command gives me the full name because that's what is found inside my DataBlaze field. But I can edit my code like this to extract just the first name. In human language, I'm saying split the data inside the name field, add the space, Take the first item only, saving the result as a new form variable called first name, so that I can use it in my snippet. And here's the result. I can also use mathematical functions. In this example, I'm taking the person's age subtracting it from 40, saving the result as a new form variable and using it in my snippet. BSQL also supports conditional logic. Here I'm using the data from the gender field to automatically insert the appropriate prefix according to the person's preference. So if the gender is set to unspecified, we get the gender neutral prefix. Otherwise, we go into the next condition which handles the male and female variants. Now, let's say I only want my menu to show me people who like tennis. I can do that using the graphical interface. But what if I want a list of people who like either tennis or swimming? If I try adding another condition in the graphical interface, it doesn't give me any results. Let's look inside the BSQL editor to understand better what's happening. This is a WHERE clause. It is used to set the conditions for the data being retrieved. Notice the word AND. This is called a logical operator and it's telling DataBlaze to look for people who like both tennis and swimming. None of the entries in our table fulfill that condition, which is why I'm not getting any results. So let's see what happens when I change AND to OR. Now we have our results. The AND operator works great for this next example where I want a list of people who drive both a skateboard and a boat.
But if I dive into B-SQL, I can expand my WHERE clause further to give me a list of two types of people. Those who drive both a skateboard and a boat and those who drive both a car and a motorcycle. On a quick side note, if you'd like to learn how to join multiple list items like this, we have a dedicated guide and video on our help site. Here are some other examples of how to combine B-SQL functions and clauses that you might find useful. For instance, I can query my table to find out how many people like a particular sport. Or I could request a list of people in my table sorted and grouped by age with a count for each age. This sort of data manipulation can be done inside your snippet using text-based commands. However, B-SQL is much better suited for handling this kind of task, especially if you're processing large volumes of data. Let's combine all of these ideas into a snippet that records a purchase into a separate table and updates the customer's points accordingly, all while creating an email. I'm using the read command to read from a table that lists the number of points to assign for each purchase, and then feed that value into the bSQL of my update command to add a number of points to a specific entry. There's a lot more you can do with bSQL and database commands, but the best place for you to learn more is our help site and gallery pages, where you'll find loads of examples that you can import and use right away. And make sure you visit our community for ideas and inspiration from other users like yourself.